Good morning and welcome to Sold Out Saturday Stories. I'm your host, Rosalind Malone. I believe everyone has a story and everyone's story deserves to be heard. So if you know someone that needs to borrow a little faith, hope, or encouragement, come close and lean in as my guests tell why they know that they know that they know why old news is still good news. Good morning. How are you? I'm blessed. Thank you. Awesome. Yes. So thank you so much for saying yes to this. Thank you. Amen. (laughs) (laughs) Amen. Amen. Yes. (laughs) Okay. So Jumu, as you know, these are one-on-one stories about the Word of God with people who I believe live their lives based on the Word of God and who inspire others to do the same. So when I think about you, I think that you are one of those people that as far back as I can remember, you trust God. And that's what I see in you and admire in you. So thank you again for saying yes to this. You're welcome. Thank you. We go way back, girl. We go way back. (laughs) So that that says a lot about who you are in Christ to me, looking from the outside. So that's a whole lot, right? Amen. Okay. So before we dive in, Jamu, what's your story? So basically, what does it mean for you to live a lifestyle that pleases Christ and not man? To live a lifestyle that includes God and not man. Well, to me, I look back at the benefits. There's Mm -hmm. so many benefits Mm -hmm. into serving God and living a life that's sold out for him. Is it easy? No. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. It's not easy at all. Yeah. Yeah. It just seems like sometimes you're on this wave or you're on this, yeah, this wave by yourself. Mm. But in actuality, you're really not. not. And when you continue to serve God and stay in Christ, you realize and you find out that you're not alone. Mm. That's huge. Yeah. I am not alone in this. Mm -hmm. Um, But the benefits for me for serving him... They're going to pay off after a while. Mm -hmm. I've seen them pay off through my three children. Yeah. I've never had to go to the courthouse. That's a testimonial. I never had to go dig them out of anything, a ditch. Mm -hmm. That's a benefit. That's a huge benefit. Yeah. Yeah. And to God be the glory. (laughs) And those are my, I mean, they're my offsprings, but that's my, that's my all in all. It's tangible. You see it. Yes, you see Mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. And then just to hear other people tell me about my children when I'm not around. Yeah. Hey, I bumped into him. I bumped into Evan. I bumped into Ethan. Mm-hmm. I bumped into Ermani. Mm-hmm. That's wow. huge. Like they were that. like, yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Or I appreciate you. Yeah. You it's know? A, it's amazing how you get the reports about your children. And it's like, man, really? You know, and it makes you feel good to hear other people say it because we think our kids are good and we think that, you know, but sometimes with us, they're different. Right. But to hear it out there, that is a huge blessing and yeah. a testament to your parenting, you know, so. Amen. Yeah. That is good. Yeah. So, yeah, that's one of my benefits and that's okay. something s- strong and dear to me. Mm-hmm. So what about before the kids? You know, what about before your children? You still were a believer. You still, what kept you, your hand in his hand? One of those babies that used to get passed through church. Mm. I'm 53 (laughs) years old now, and it's like, okay, I can't remember when I was a baby and that small. Mm -hmm. So I think I can go back as far as maybe four or five years old. Wow. Yeah, and just being in church. Mm -hmm. And you know how some people say your parents drug you to church? No. Yes, I know. My mother took me to church. Yeah. She, she went there. along with me. Mm-hmm. My dad was away on a ship yeah. in the military. But wow. my mother took us, all three of us, to mm-hmm. church. Wow. And she had us in 
what GA actings, the choir. Active. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and active when she was in her mission programs, where were we? We were there at church too, but mm-hmm. all the kids were playing and running around, but they were in their meeting. We were still at the house of yeah. the Lord. Wow. And I believe and I know within my heart that's what sustained me. Mm. And it's all I know. Yeah. I love it because a lot of times it feels like we go through some things and so now we want to reach out to the Lord. But it's nice to hear a story that I grew up in the church, right? Mm-hmm. And I stayed in the church and all throughout my life I stayed, I stayed, I stayed, you mm-hmm. know, with the source. So Thank you so much for sharing your story. You're welcome. So let's 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 put the word of God on full display. Tell me and take me to your all-time favorite scripture in the Bible. Let's turn to it, whatever that is. Amen. So mine is Jeremiah 29:11. Okay, let me see. Let me put these things on right here. <laughs> Jeremiah 29, 29 11. 11. Okay. And let's see. I'm there. Would you read it? So, yes, it says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you, not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and to give you a future. Mm. Okay, so <laughs> Jeremiah. Old Testament the yes. author is Jeremiah a prophet Amen. what we know about him right but Jeremiah is also known as the weeping prophet yes. right yes okay why is this passage your all time favorite scripture I believe because it spoke to me so highly when I was in a despaired discouraged state in my life Mm -hmm. um and this was this gave me hope it gave me encouragement when i was grieving Mm -hmm. so is it is it like for the season you know how there's so there's over thirty one thousand scriptures in the bible right and so we may go here and there but then we come back to this one throughout our lives so but is this particular one just something that helped you for this season it helped me for a season. I believe I'm still in that season. All right. Yeah, because mm-hmm. I'm still holding on to this one. So God's I, still speaking. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like I use it so frequently, and it's like I use it on other people so, so much. Mm-hmm. So wow. I believe God has me here mm-hmm. for this season. I don't know how long the season's going to be, but mm-hmm. this is where I am right now. That, that's yeah. amazing. I think... One of the familiar things is like, it's like fire shut up in my bones, right? And reading through your 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 uh, scripture and the whole book, I, I had to go back. I'm like, <laughs> this is a powerful book. Old news is still good, good news, news and relevant today. Yes, amen. So you use this for other people to encourage other people, and God is encouraging you you yes. through the word himself. You know, Just like when kids, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt no, no, you, but no, like no. when kids leave and they go off to college, or I'm there at their going away party and stuff like that. If somebody asks me to speak or say something, give words of wisdom, it's like this scripture always comes. Wow. It's like a word from God that I must give. That's huge. And for that to be the takeaway, even when my son left and went away to college, just praying over him. Mm -hmm. This was one of those scriptures. Wow. Yeah. And even losing my father. What? That was over 13, 14 years ago. Wow. Yeah. And it was this scripture still? Yeah. And it's still alive. It's still Going through a divorce, what, four, almost three, four years ago. Mm Mm-hmm. Still I the still scripture. know the plans. Yeah, I still know the plans. Th- that's huge because it's like, don't give up on me. I got you. Yeah, I'm, I'm not here to harm you. I'm not here to hurt you. I'm not here to hurt you. No. I'm not going anywhere. You're going through some things, but I'm going through them with, with you. you. That's huge. Amen. That 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 is huge. I I keep saying I have to go back and read this. I keep telling people I don't even have enough time. To <laughs> read the Bible because you get in there and it's so good it's so much it's like man I heard that a long time ago but it's speaking to me today right and it's just so rich yeah it's rich yeah and it's like sometimes you might not know the address where to go where to find it Mm -hmm. but you definitely remember it inside Mm -hmm. 
And it's funny that I call it the address, but to me, it is an address. Yeah. I mean, Jeremiah twenty nine eleven. Specifics. Go. Yes. <laughs> right. Find that address. Look at Jeremiah. Yes. Right. <laughs> twenty nine. Verse 11, find it. And you know, it's kind of interesting because it's like, I don't memorize a bunch of scripture, but I know it's in there. Mm -hmm. I know that there's sources where I can go to to find it. I can Google it. I, you know what I mean? Right. Go to the table of content. I know it's Or it there. comes up in your vocabulary. Yeah. You can quote it. Yeah. yeah. It's amazing. It's, it, it's amazing. So thank you for sharing your seasonal... <laughs> <laughs> Your seasonal scripture. You're welcome. That's huge. Is there anything else that you want to share about that before we move on? Well, sometimes, you know, I wrote a little, um, some guide guidance here. I'm not going to read it all, but mm -hmm. I know um, the exiles, uh, when they were in Babylon, Babylon and, yeah. Yeah, and mm -hmm. how they were being punished mm -hmm. for the sins that they committed in Judea. Yeah, yeah and it's just... It just brings back to remember some of the sins that I've committed here, yeah. you know. But God, He's still here. He's still here on the throne, and He's carried me through. He's had favor on me. He's mm -hmm. covered me. Kept you, covered you, yes. fed you, all of that. Yes. And it's kind of interesting that you brought that up because I was reading the back parts, like the beginning of Jeremiah, and, and it was a setup that they went to Babylonia, right, to teach them these things, right? Because I want you to depend on me, to trust me, but I'm going to teach you some things, you know, because you're going to have all these false things out there, you know, but believe me, trust me, stay with me, I got you. I got you, yes. And then I just remember the footprints in the sand, you know, Ooh. when you're being carried. Sometimes you don't know how you got from A to B, but it's like, okay, Lord, you got me, you're carrying me through this. You're Must giving me the words to say. Made it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. You got my feet planted. Wow. That's I good. got my armor on. Mm -hmm. I got my armor. <laughs> that breastplate. Yes. I got that belt. Yeah. I love it. Yes. I love it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's it because you're right. It's rich. It's a whole it's very lot rich. in there. You have your notes, so you wanted to say something. So I'm going to give you an opportunity if you need to say more I appreciate it go right ahead if not yeah, well on. no I was just going to say how God was um, going to send the Babylonians to destroy Jerusalem and the temple and you know things in my life that have been destroyed or you know lost homes and but God never put me out there on the street mm. I was never out there on yeah. the street could it have happened yeah it could have but I'm his child, and he's not going to let that happen to me. Say it again. Yeah. I'm his child. I love that. Yeah. Wow. So I think just being delivered from all that, I mean, who wouldn't serve a God like that? I, I don't know. Going I from mean, place to place, house to house, not being able to stay stationary. And he, and he kept us. He kept us. Mm -hmm. And it's yeah. just like I see my kids. It's, it goes back to them, though. Mm-hmm. I've had yeah. two that graduated, yeah. two weeks apart from each other. One with his BA, college. the other one, yeah, yes. college. They all graduated high school. Mm -hmm. They stepped out on that journey, made that journey. Now they went to the next one. And, and now I got another one getting ready to go off on one. Yeah, all three. That's, that's And I'm wondering, how are we going to take care of this? God said, don't worry about it. I'm the source. Yes. Wow. Both of them on scholarships. Yeah. Ain't a dime came out of my pocket. Yes. Yeah. Who wouldn't serve Who God? wouldn't serve him? Mm -hmm. yeah. And why would I go back and isolate myself from him? I have mm -hmm. never, I never left church. Yeah. I stayed That's there in the fold. And he remembers And I held my, kept, kept my shoulders up. I held them up. My mm -hmm. mother always taught me, I don't care what you're going through. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Stop it. <laughs> yeah. I, I love that. I love that no matter what we go through, God is still there. Yep. And it's one thing to, okay, think about God being there, but to really know he's there mm -hmm. and not nothing that I've done, you know, I didn't do it. I didn't have a dime. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I would have scraped, right, to get my kids to college or whatever, but the source. The source said I got you I remember when you prayed for your kids I remember that you stayed the course I remember God will not be put to shame he will not be put to shame never never, never. be put to shame 
do what I tell you to do and I will not be put to shame, right? You know what I mean? I'm gonna show them. I will show them. So you and your quiet spirit, you know, I'm so glad that you said yes to this because a lot of people need to know how I made it. I may be quiet, moving through life or whatever, but I got a story. Yes. And this is how this is my story and this is how I made it. Amen. He kept me. He kept me. Yes. I love it. I love it. And just the maturity and the growth that you receive from him. I mean, mm -hmm. yes, I am quiet, but I'm a storm when I do come through, yeah. you know? And then the part where I serve God, I mean, oh my God, sometimes it's like, okay, God, did you really call me to do this? Or is this Jamu just doing this? Yeah. Are you just out there being just too busy, you mm -hmm. know? Distractions. Yeah. Yeah. But wow. it's in the fold, though. When I'm serving, <laughs> I'm there. I'm not out on the street yeah. serving somebody else where I, I could be on a pole somewhere dancing, mm -hmm. you know? But yeah. I choose to do it inside here, to inside his glory. kingdom. Yeah. Yes. Wow. I am a woman of value yes, you serving are. in the kingdom. Mm -hmm. You are a queen, right? <laughs> you, you, I mean, you are. And, and a servant. And he honors that. So thank God for that. Amen. So, Jimmy, the word of God is not just a collection of words in a book. It's not just black and white, white ink on pages in a book. But according to Hebrews 4 and 12, the word says it's alive and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. Mm -hmm. It even knows our thoughts, right? Can you recall for me a time when you looked to the word for a specific prayer and the words just leaped up off the page and responded to that prayer? Wow. Well... I know when I was pregnant the second time, and you know how you go through all the blood tests and all the blood work and everything? Yes. Well, pregnant with Ethan, um, the doctors and the nurses came back and told me that my alpha phenoprotein came back too high, Whoa. which means your child is going to have Down syndrome. Mm -hmm. So we're giving you the opportunity right now today to abort this child. Wow. I'm like, abort the child because he's going to have Down syndrome? I'm like, I don't think so. Yeah. If this is what God is giving me, mm -hmm. he planted this seed inside of me. Still a gift. Yeah. If he has Down syndrome, then so be it. That's what God is giving me. Wow. He's not going to put too much on me that I can't bear. Mm -hmm. And look at him today. <laughs> no signs of Down syndrome. So can you imagine? I mean, if I would have did that. Whew. Yeah. Yeah. Glory. Praise be to God. Praise That's God. my middle child. Pra praise God. Praise God. Thank he you, Jesus. The, he is the doctor, right? Oh, my God. No matter what man says. Oh, my God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hmm. His word will not return Boy. void will not it will not mm. Mm. yes thank you thank you thank you so if we look at how God responds to his word and how he keeps his word and it stays the same and it never changes and when we pray for things and how he answers them there are sometimes it feels like God is silent and we're praying and we're fasting and we're staying the course and it just feels like, God, where are you? Tell me about a time when you felt like, God, where are you? And tell me what you did during that time. Mm. See, like my story is so emotional here. <laughs> you know what? It's, uh, it's the word that's like, whoa, you know? Yes. And it's who he is. And you know, you. I'm going to respond after you respond. Okay, I'm going to think back 13 years ago, okay. being daddy's little girl. Mm -hmm. When my father was sick, mm. we were headed to Georgia, um, me and him. 
I decided to do something different and I wanted to challenge my dad to ride BART. So we rode BART and it's like I met him in Union City. We rode and he, my mother brought him to BART. We got on the BART, rode the BART train from Union City all the way into San Francisco into the airport. Um, just, my dad was always there, always a good man, mm -hmm. a wonderful man, even through his Navy years, sending his money home, his check to my mother, and we were well taken care of, mm -hmm. just a well taken care of family. Right. Um, and I felt like it was my opportunity to shine and to take care of my, my dad. <laughs> and for some reason, I didn't know that he was ill when we were traveling, but it's like, going through medical school, being a, a CNA myself. Um, I was like, Dad, something's wrong with you, you know? What's mm -hmm. wrong? And he couldn't walk like through the airport. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's like time to get to that flight. And I'm like, Dad, we gonna call the sky cap. And I was joking, you know, I get silly sometimes. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm goofing around, Dad. There ain't no way you are not gonna do no OJ through this airport or whatever. I'm called, no, you ain't called no sky cap. I go, yes, I am, because we got to get to this flight. <laughs> so anyway, he finally bowed down and let me call the sky cap, and he drove us. Mm -hmm. We made it to Savannah, Georgia. We made it to his mother's 90th birthday party. Mm -hmm. But there was still something strange, and it's like his brother is a physician. My Uncle oh, Walter okay. is a physician. I'm mm -hmm. like, Uncle Walter, something's wrong with your brother. Mm -hmm. He go, what, what? I go talk to him. You know, and he was losing his voice. His voice kept going in and out. Oh, wow. And then, of course, it's burning up hot. My dad got on a turtleneck. Oh, wow. I'm like, okay, something is up. Yes. Mm -hmm. So then finally, he took the turtleneck off, and I seen this big old lump. I'm like, Dad, I know something wrong with you. What's going on? I don't know. You been to the doctor? No. <laughs> My doctor's on vacation. I'm like, well, that ain't the only doctor out right. there. You can go see another yes. one. So anyway, we made it back to California and everything. That was all over. And then, you know... We found out when my dad got home, he had stage four cancer. Wow. Yeah. And so this has been something that I've had to live with and then just working for the Veterans Administration. I've been there 30 years. Um, my dad was a veteran, but never took advantage of the VA hospital. Mm -hmm. Never. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I used to always talk to him about it. No, there's other um, veterans that need this coverage more than I do. Mm -hmm. I've seen some things, yes, but I don't need the VA. I don't need to go there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yes, you do. <laughs> I mean, this is here yeah. for you. You put in 20 years. Yeah. But anyway, um, he's resting in heaven, um, and I will see him again someday. Mm -hmm. um, but this is a story, and it's something that I live off of, and it's, I mean, when veterans come my way, it's just like I try to help them. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is here for you. I don't care if you did two years, four years, you right. know. It's, it's still here yeah. for you. Yeah. You guys fought the battle, and you deserve this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So wow. that's another story that I continue to share in my life. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, I put a lot of passion into my work. Yeah. Um, and a lot of times I'm told, you know, you need to stop, stop doing that because it's a detriment to me sometimes. I, yeah, I get you sick. take it on. Because yeah. I take it on. Yeah. 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 But I want, to, I want people to get the care and the coverage, you know, that they need. Mm -hmm. And God is strengthening you by doing that. He's still going to take care of you, right? And mm -hmm. people are like, you need to stop and you need to slow down. It's like, God, God has got me. But you have a voice and a reason for your your passion, you know? So, it's true. And it speaks for yourself. So, awesome. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's lighten a little things up and have a little fun. We're going to just turn just a little bit. Let's do a word swap. So, there okay. are over 700 thousand words in the King James Version of the Bible. Mm -hmm. And at any given time, like you said, we can move throughout the rhythms of our day and a word will pop in our mind and it may encourage us. It may give us hope. It may give us strength to just keep going. Those just quick words, no matter what we're doing. So I'm going to say one word and you tell me the one word that comes to mind for you. Okay. okay, you ready? Okay. Let's do Let's this. Go. All right. Hope. Faith. Worship. Praise with lifted hands. 
worship. Oh my goodness, worship. My communication with God. Love. Service. Love. Acts of kindness. Peace. Life. Breath. Okay, and what is your full definition of the Bible? Full Bible. How the full Bible. It? For mm -hmm. me, it's my guidance. Mm. It's my road map through this life. Mm. Because mm -hmm. whatever I need is there. Whatever situation, whatever matter, anything, anything mm -hmm. is there. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. And define prayer. Prayer to me is my quiet personal time, my communication with the most high. Mm -hmm. Okay. And who is God? He's my everything. <laughs> my alpha, my omega, my beginning, my end, mm -hmm. my middle, my front. <laughs> I've said that. The yes. beginning and the end. Yes. And the elemental P in between. <laughs> Girl, right? oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. Just like who wouldn't serve him? Yeah, me. you can feel a movement all the time. Mm. Mm. If you want to, if you, you want, want to acknowledge who it is and what it is and how he moves and all of that. Yeah, he's speaking. Yeah. 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 And I know I was talking the other night, it's like just staying still and being quiet and being flat footed and mm. prostrate before him. Mm. Yeah. And let him move and just do his work. Yeah. Wow. So, Jamu, many people believe that if they work hard and treat everybody right, they will be successful and happy. What do you believe? I mean, I see people out there that don't serve God, and you wonder how did they get to where they are. Yeah. Um, do I trip off? Yeah, I'd be tripping sometimes. How'd I get that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And I'm working hard trying to get, you know, to where they are today, but... God grants us all in his due season. Mm -hmm. So if I just hold on to his unchanging hands, yeah. And his benefits outweigh, outlast all that stuff. Everything. <laughs> I love when they say, at the name, at the mention of his name, every knee shall bow. bow. So all that stuff <sighs> yeah. is going to fade. Fade away and it's yeah. temporary, yes. Yeah. So what inspires you? What inspires me? Just in general. You look at your life, what inspires you? Well, one, the Word of God. Okay. Definitely inspires okay. me. Okay. Um, but I'm the type of person I reach out for color and beauty. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, you um, do. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And I've just always been like that. Mm -hmm. um, things that I see, I can find beauty in it. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And so, what breaks your heart? what breaks my heart just I mean it's probably for anybody I mean like the bad things going on in the world mm -hmm. um, when people are hurt for, or accused for no substantial mm -hmm. reason mm -hmm. stuff like that breaks my heart okay so looking at your inspirations and the things that break your heart how does that influence the way you live your everyday life well I gotta be guarded for one. I mean, I have to go out with my armor. Mm -hmm. That's a daily thing that I leave the house with my breastplate of righteous yeah. righteousness, my my crown, my just my shoes. My shoes. Yes. Yes. And if I don't stay rooted and grounded in him, I mean I'll fall. Because mm -hmm. if you don't yeah. stand for something, you will fall. Mm-hmm. For any and for everything. For any and everything. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, trust me, yes, there's distractions that's come my way. They continue to come my way. Mm -hmm. But I always go back to this. Mm -hmm. I always so go back then, to this. Would you say that because you go back to that, the things that inspire you, the word, 
and then the people not treat, being treated right, those things is how you live your everyday life. So that's how I show up so people will know. Even in conversations, Jamu, Jamu, what's your story? You know? Mm -hmm. Or Jamu, what's breaking your heart? I can give those people the words. The word. So, yeah. Yes. And then you always got to be careful of the people that you center yourself around, the people that you invite to your home. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because you never know what people bring in or what they're carrying yeah. in on them. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't want those spirits. Those spirits are real. Yeah. yeah. I know yeah. that. Yes, they mm -hmm. are. And to yeah. march around and come into your home mm -hmm. or to even get on you. Deposits. On yeah. That. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Those little so deposits true. do. Yeah. My husband will say that all the time. That spirit. What that mm -hmm. the spirit don't want. I want that in my home. So right. I, I, and your friends, I your so-called friends that you're hanging around with I mean yeah mm -hmm. birds of a feather flock together yeah. yeah it's your call we're called to be that light that salt in the earth right yes so, you know I can't shut people out but you're right bring them into my home that's that's different right but commune with them too to see yeah. my light yeah how did mm -hmm. you make it Jamu? how did you keep going how did you put your kids through school how did you do all that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then you can tell them exactly ah, I love it I love it I love it Okay, so I have one last question for you. Yes. Looking back over your life and seeing where you are today, what advice would you give your younger self? Jimu, why you didn't get in God's word sooner? Mm. And let these words manifest in me sooner. Um, and not that it's too late. Right. Because it's never too late. Mm-hmm. Um, because I'm still toiling with some things now yeah. that need to get out and that need to be manifested, that need to grow inside mm -hmm. of me mm -hmm. because I have something I need to share, yeah. something I need to give. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if it's going to be in a counseling state. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I do believe God has me. Um, he's orchestrating something in my head right now that needs to be birthed. I'm gonna be waiting yeah. for that. So that's, yeah, that's you. So you. It's growing like, in the belly here. Yeah, the, the younger you. Yeah. yeah. In the work. <laughs> so you. That's really interesting because you said, my mom didn't drag me to church. She took me to church. Mm -hmm. We were there with her in the church, and we were a part of GA and all of these things. But to get in the word for yourself is something mm -hmm. that now you like. Okay, wait a minute. I should have been in the word. A long time ago. Yeah. And the beauty of the word is still here and it's not going anywhere. So I think sometimes we have to go through some things, you know. Yes. To birth whatever he's birthing in you. Yes. Right? Wow. Yeah. I would have told myself something like that too. I'm like, man, <laughs> what is this burning yearning? Yeah, what is, what is it? And now I, I tease, like my husband, I tell him, I'm like, dad. I don't have enough time anymore to, you know, to get all of this. I want to get it now, now, now that it's alive yeah. and, you know. Especially being in so. this microwave society, it's like we want everything fast, 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 mm -hmm. fast. And it's like, nope. Mm -hmm. It's amazing how the word is still speaking. I keep saying that. Old news is still good news. So, yeah, I would have told myself something similar to that. So. <laughs> I, I understand that completely. So... Well, Jamu, it's been my Thank honor you. and my pleasure to sit with you and hear your story. Thank you so much for living a sold out lifestyle. I see you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I see you. Thank so you. I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only one. So thank you so much again for saying yes to this. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. <laughs>
Hey Sold Out Saturday friends, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe so that you don't miss a single story and share this video with someone else. Thanks again for watching. See you next Saturday.